Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this amazing course, Master Python to the creation of 10 unique projects. And yeah, in this section, uh, we'll talk about this amazing project, which is Conversational AI Chatbot. And in today's video, uh, we'll be talking about the comprehensive introduction to our Conversational AI Chatbot project. So yeah, as you guys know, like in today's uh, digital age, communication with technology has evolved and has become more interactive, intuitive and dynamic. So yeah, it's really important to have a good communication source uh, uh, with our technology with AI so that's why we have introduced you guys this conversational AI chatbot so first of all it's really important to understand like what is a chatbot a chatbot uh, short for chat robo as well is a computer program that is designed to simulate human conversations okay uh, so it basically uh, utilizes cutting edge technologies like natural language processing to interact with users and also understand their inputs and because of that generate meaningful responses. So yeah, uh, at its core, a chatbot is an interface that allows users to interact with the computer system using natural language. It can be integrated into various platforms that like, you know, as you guys have heard, like a lot of them, which are messaging apps, websites or customer service platforms as well. So yeah, uh, if we discuss like how chatbots were so chatbots uh, work through a series of steps so the first step analyze the input from the user identifying the intent or purpose behind the message then after that they extract relevant information and use it to generate appropriate and contextually accurate responses and yeah, uh, chatbots learn and improve their responses over time based on data and user interactions so yeah uh, in this video as well we'll also uh, see a project demo like uh, what exactly are we going to be doing in this whole project so let's just go to that. All right, so now we'll uh, take a look about the quick demo of our conversational chatbot. So we are going to utilize OpenAI with the help of API and we're going to have a conversation with AI. So uh, what we're going to do is we are uh, going to have a proper assistance, AI assistance for a niche field. Uh, that means we can have a software developer assistance or, you know, a maybe cooking um, expert or maybe like sport expert, weather expert, architectural expert or uh, some anything else you can say so uh, we can have expert for any specific field uh, throughout the process You'll basically understand like why we are talking a niche field or why we are not using a general assistance uh, And why we are going to have a specific expert or specific assistance and the other thing is uh, we are going to have Conversations, so that means I'm going to send a question. They are going to reply me then I'm going to have another question and they will have access to all my previous information. Like, how is that? So that means uh, if I have a conversation with AI, uh, they give me uh, the information about Python programming. Let's just say AI will explain me about Python programming. Now, if I ask about salary, AI already knows, like, you know, that I'm talking about Python programming or Python developer salary because, you know, I'm going to have a conversation and we have information about all the previous history. Like, that's how it works, okay? So the other thing is we are going to hide our API key. So we will also understand like about how to use a .env. It's a different package uh, that helps us to hide certain information on our code. Uh, we'll also understand that we are going to have a conversation. So it's important for us to have a loop. We are also going to save our conversation according to timestamps. So let's just say if I have a conversation with my chatbot right now, if I run this one, let's uh, say information about uh, let's say back and development. That seems sounds good. So now, uh, if I ask a new question, maybe salary or converse, our conversational bot will already have information that I'm talking about. You know, salary related to back and development. So if I say average salary, uh, my chatbot already know that um, you know I'm talking about salary for a back and developer. So let me try to quit. That's done. And uh, now I can also jump here with my chat history because, you know, it's already saved according to timestamp. So I hope you got the idea. So we can play now with multiple type of assistance. We can do a lot of stuff. Actually, this was basically just a quick demo that we're going to do. Also, our API key is stored in a different file, which is environmental variable file. So yeah, that means we send a prompt, a query, a, we get a response. That's it, right? Things were fine till that. But what if we want to have some conversation, you know, for example, like if I uh, jump onto the playground right now and I'm going to take care here and for example, here we are creating an AI assistance. We can create an AI assistance specifically for, you know, maybe cooking or for maybe like sports, for software development, for Python development, anything like that. So 
And here now we are going to have a conversation with AI. You will see like two important things here. Uh, the first thing is the AI and then a human. Uh, for example, here I ask a question. Information on Python. Now, if I submit this one, you'll get a response from AI. That's, you know, it's an interpreted high level gendered uh, programming language or something else. And yeah. And yeah, we've got it. Let's just say, uh, ask another thing. Should I learn Python in 2024? And uh, I just need to click on submit and you can see I got a response here. Now, after every response, uh, it is going to print me human. So, you know, I know that the response is complete and I can ask them my next question. So uh, let's just say I now asked about salary. So a simple uh so I simply need to say average salary. Uh, now remember here I have mentioned above salary of Python developer or anything else because you know chat is going to have a uh, previous information like every time you send a new question um, at the time of chat or conversation we have basically context of this previous information. So if I talk about average salary right now in my prompt in my query you can say I'm giving this particular information. Why? Uh, because now the chat GPT whole information, okay, uh, the person is talking about Python programming. So that means they are going to ask question about salary related to Python programming. So uh, if I submit now, you can see now they are giving me answers. Um, you can say that like related to uh, Python developer only. So that's how things are going to work from now on, okay? If I suppose initially I mentioned here with my conversation that uh, you are AI assistant specifically for sport, um, it is going to behave like that specifically for Python in this case, it is going to behave like, uh, you know, that at all. And suppose if I give an AI assistant, like maybe for someone who is traveling or maybe someone who is, you know, zookeeping or uh, someone who is expert in some animal thing, then Python tone will be referred uh, towards the animal part. So if I give here uh, that you are developer AI assistant, software developer assistant in particular, then the Python term will be related to the Python programming. I hope you get the basic idea. So uh, this looks good. I hope you got the idea what we are trying to do over here. So let me get back here. I'm going to pull up my previous program. So the first thing I did is I created a folder which is known as chatbot and inside this I'm going to do everything. So this folder is inside my projects which is inside my desktop and I have copy uh, pasted the previous main previous main pie. So if I have this main uh, pie here, uh, it's the previous example that we were working with. I hope you remember the previous example. So uh, make you understand the what we are going to do is we are going to continue from the previous one. So I hope you got the idea. Uh, the aim of this lecture was to make you understand that now we are going to have conversation. So that means we are going to store this previous history and pass this to our prompt. Earlier we were doing like everything in one go, but now uh, since it's a conversation, we need previous contacts. Uh, uh, let's try to save our chat history into txt file and you know, it should work fine after uh, this completion of a whole while loop over here. So we have this chat history, right? Since uh, I screwed it outside the while loop. So that means we can access it outside the while loop, okay? So we can access this chat history inside this particular function as well. So this main, because uh, that's the scope, so what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to use my wit and I need to open a file. So let's just say this file is chat history. So I'm going to say like chat history dot txt. Uh, but remember uh, to pass them inside the codes that's run. We need to mention the mode which is going to be writing. And uh, then we can mention the encoding part. So if you're not uh, getting any error, things are fine. But um, I need to mention uh, the default one which is UTF-8 and uh, that should work absolutely fine. So the other thing is I'm going to call this as file in simple and I can just write my chat history which is this chat history right here. Okay. Save. Uh, so that means after completion of my entire conversation I'm going to write this in a file which is chat history txt currently. Uh, Currently, I don't have this, but since it's a uh, write mode, I will automatically create it. That looks good to me. Let me save uh, for now. Let me just open this sidebar. Also open my terminal now. So let me clear this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to run a proper chart. Um, welcome to the chat boat. So 
Whatever I'm going to do now, I will be stored in my chat history and will be written in a file after I complete this whole conversation. This means, you know, after exiting the while loop. So let's so let's have a chat. Uh, information about Python programming uh, looks good to me. Presenter, that's great. So uh, the next thing I can ask about uh, every salary. Great. Uh, should I learn in 2024? So now that's important. Why? Uh, now the previous context is important because, hey, uh, you can see now it knows that I'm talking about Python in 2024, okay? And the answer is yes, okay? So if I do quit, it is going to quit the entire thing. You can see I have a chat history. TXT, if I open this file, you can see I have a proper conversation, user, AI, user. Uh, user and AI. So that's it. Uh, that's how uh, we. That's how we can create. We can have a proper chatbot that is working with OpenAI. This looks good to me. So yeah. In the next video, uh, let's. So now let's talk about you know how to hide certain information on our project. Um, it can be like secret key or it can be like any type of API key or any type of information you want. So it can be like some text as well. So uh, usually we create our environment variable file that is env file and. Uh, with the help of that, we can hide any type of key, okay? So we need to utilize one important package, which is known as Python ENV. So if we jump here on uh, the pip, you can search about python.env and, you know, just install it. And I've already done that. So uh, if I jump onto my terminal, let me clear this up and let me install it. Um, already satisfied. So. Uh, make sure uh, you install this package and then we get some uh, superpower to hide certain information. Uh, what we can do is we can create an env file here in the same directory. Um, I can say uh, env, remember, you know, env and inside this I can uh, define variables. I can just define something like, you know, api underscore key equals to, remember, there will be like no space in that, okay? And the text that you want to store, um, in our case, this will be like the direct key, uh, no quotation mark, nothing. Uh, you just need to basically, but uh, you just need that particular text basically. So let me get it here. So this will, uh, this is a variable, and this is the information that is going to store. Let me stay. Uh, let me save this. Uh, yeah. Now let me get back to my main. Remember, uh, this should be in the same directory. Okay. So now uh, what I can do is I can access this uh, how? Well, the first thing is I need to load that information. So I just need to go with my form.env. I need to import a method. I need to import a method which, which is known as load.env. And uh, I just need to run it. I uh, just need to run load.env and and that's going to be it. Uh, it is going to load the environment variable file, and that is the env file. Now I can access it. How? I can use my OS, that is, you know, the OS module. So I can also need to import that, let's say, import OS, and uh, then I can go with my environment variable here, and uh, I just need to mention which variable I need to access. And this will be in the code, so I need to access this particular variable. All right, awesome. So this is going to return this after that, okay? So simple step, first uh, install env package. Second thing, uh, create a env file. Third thing, uh, create your variable that you want to use. And the next thing, import the load env, uh, then call it as well as the OS, okay? Then you can access the environment variable um that you just need to uh, mention the variable name and this is going to return this at the end okay um awesome now if i save this one and if i try to have a conversation here again it should like it should like work fine okay so let's say uh information about uh developers salaries okay let's do for that So you can see I'm still able to access the data because the API is working. Uh, so that's gonna be all, let me quit it. Awesome, now uh, you might be having a question like that, why I discussed uh, the quit function at the first priority, like why is it that? You know, uh, the, re uh, the answer is because I don't want anyone to get into the loop of the open AI and spread their you know, credits or uh, you can say tokens, so. Uh, there might be chances that you uh, might write something wrong, uh, you know, while loop and it keeps on calling every time for in the next few seconds. So maybe a hundred times in a few seconds. So there are limits by OpenAI. 
but I should also add a limit on how to control this while loop. All right. So yeah, I hope you got the idea. Now let's talk about specific role to our AI. Uh, that means if you observe the playground right here. So at this point of time, we are playing with a normal general AI assistance, but uh, we can have a specific playground as well. You know, that means uh, we can initially mention that you are an AI expert for a particular field. Like, you know, it can be sports, um, maybe it can be something related to creative, something related to uh, development or anything like that. And I've been discussing this for a while, but now how to do all that? Well, suppose uh, initially you mentioned AI that, okay, so you're going to be expert for this particular field. AI will behave like that. So let's take an example here when I'm going to have any type of conversation, I pass an empty chat history. But what if uh, with this chat history, I mentioned that uh, you are working on this particular field. I can mention this, right? So I can mention a prompt that you are a helpful software developer assistant. Uh, by default, AI will assume it. Let's say I can pass a default prompt that you are a helpful software developer assistant. Let's just go for that, wait. So uh, now if I save this one, if I try to have a conversation now, um, open my terminal, run the file, and if I ask, who are you? Okay, let's be stranger now. So what is going to happen is prompt earlier, the prompt was empty for chat history, right? When we run for the first time, right? Listen to me now. So, but now when we run for the first time, this is the information that we are sending along with who are you, and then we are expecting a response. So uh, the response is, I'm a software developer assistant. Uh, now I can ask anything and it will behave like that. So if I say how is the field and it will assume like how's the software development feel automatically, right? So I hope you got the idea. So now it is going to behave like it if I ask for the best salary, uh, best salary, uh, you know, in this industry. So the industry will uh, just behave like software developer industry, best salary offered for, um, now, if you can see right here, it will assume best salary offered for in the software industry, it will give accordingly. So you can see a best salary offered for software developer on variety of factors and they give me the examples. So I hope you got the idea how we can make an AI a particular field expert. Okay, so, so that was it for uh, this video. So in this project, we discussed like how you can basically have a conversation with your AI chatbot, how you can, you know, uh, use prompts, functions in conversation, how you can save conversation log text document, how you can secure your API key using ENV, and how you can also give a specific role to your AI. So this was our project on our conversational AI chatbot. So yeah, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.